got up bright and early to take you on a bit of an adventure into the heart of the Morvan. We're going to go to Lac Panacea. Let's go! I've packed a picnic, well, some coffee and a pan of chocolate, if that counts. This is our picnic spot. It's rather nice, isn't it? Twenty twenty and the COVID era made us all stop and think. And it made me think about legacy, what we do when we're here, and what we leave behind when we go. I felt an urge to plant some trees, so I collected some acorns from under an oak and I planted them in some pots in the garden. They were all eaten. They were eaten by a mouse or taken by a squirrel, I'm not sure. So I tried again. I went and got some more acorns. I put them in pots. This time I decided to put them in our shed, thinking they'd be a bit more protected. But two weeks later, again, they'd all gone. Then we came for a walk here at Lac Panacea, found this lovely spot, this tree, tons of acorns everywhere, and they're all starting to grow. They've, some of them have fallen into the edge of the lake, and really they've got no chance of doing anything here. It's a very difficult place to grow, sandy, gravelly bank. You know, this tree's done really well to get here in the first place. So we scooped up as many as we could, put them in our pockets, took them home and this time I planted them in our loft room which has a Velux window so they had light and they were warm and they all grew. They did really well and they turned into really nice little trees. When I felt that urge to plant some trees I didn't own any land. I didn't have anywhere to plant them. I didn't know how or where I was going to put them, how I was going to make this little forest. But there they were anyway, growing, and I felt responsible for them. So I started looking for a little plot of land, something cheap, a field, a little corner somewhere. It needed to be a place where the trees would be safe. A year passed. I missed out on a couple of fields that were for sale and I tried to buy another little cabin, different little cabin, and I really, really wanted it and agreed to buy it and then the owner changed her mind and sold it to somebody else. But these little trees kept growing and I kept watering them, taking care of them. And one day I got an email about this piece of land with a little cabin on it. I picked up the phone straight away, made an appointment and we went to see it. We were the first of 17 people that were going to see it that day and we were so ready and so uh, decisive that we managed to get it. We stopped all the other viewing sign there and then and bought it. The cabin is a place that's brought me immense joy and happiness and freedom just to be myself. Maybe you've got a feeling that you want to do something but you haven't got all the pieces of the jigsaw ready to see it right through to the end. Hear yourself trust yourself and just start because you never know where that little acorn of an idea is going to take you.
Does anybody know? Is this belonging to anybody? Would you say? Would that is that does that shoe belong to anyone in particular? Do either of you know anything about this shoe? Can either of you tell me why the shoe that is my shoe is in your field? Hmm? I thought I'd bought red. I've bought green. Ah, oh, it's not going to be. <laughs> it's not going to be easy to see, is it? The point is, I can easily find the trees because of the paint. The reality is, honestly, I thought I was buying red. Ah, oh, never mind. I guess it will still be visible. It's going to be better than nothing. This is the land where I'm going to be planting. It has the road behind me here and the field is this way. And it basically gets narrower and narrower as we go through. It's really unusable land in terms of forestry, agriculture, building. There's nothing really that's gonna happen here. So there's already um, oaks, there's already a variety of different species here. There's some pine that have probably been planted at some point. And uh, there's loads of dead trees as well that eventually I'll take down and try and use some of that for, for firewood. Right now I'm just going to get these trees in the ground. This oak I planted last year and it's grown, it's still alive. It doesn't have any leaves or many buds but you can still see it's green and there's a little spider living in this hole so I'm going to tuck him back up. And this is the very first tree that I planted here. I have covered it in netting because I thought that it would be necessary to protect it but in reality it's um, it's not really necessary. So I won't be doing that with the other trees, but it's got loads of buds on it. It's probably doubled in size. And the thing that's really nice to see is that its little trunk is really nice and thick. There's hunting going on across the valley on this side. Again, I can hear the guys blowing their horns and dogs uh, barking from time to time. It's one of the reasons why I've been wearing the brightest clothes that I own uh, whilst I've been planting my trees. Um, I've got my bright trousers on again today. 
when there's hunting going on, you really do need to be wearing something colourful. Um, been basically crouching in the undergrowth. If you're wondering the uh, choice of very <laughs> clashing clothes, um, that is part of the uh, thought process. <laughs> Trying not to get shot. <laughs> Last year I had some blue tits nesting on the back of the cabin and I took the cladding down so there's no home for them there anymore. But I've just brought this little nest box with me to put it up and see. If they do start nesting I'll be able to see them from here without bothering them. Normally a Katie Builds episode isn't just doing stuff in nature, I also tend to make something. My friend has given me this bottle opener and I think it's only right that we attach it in the summer kitchen. Shame I haven't got a beer to try it now really, we're just gonna have to imagine. So I've just had a little count up, I've got 17 more to plant. So far I've planted 52 in, that's taken me three afternoons. Uh, it's cost me absolutely nothing other than the pot of paint, which was supposed to be red paint. Look at that, red paint. You'd think it's red paint. Actually, no, it's green. Just saying. It doesn't matter. The sticks, I uh, ended up using natural sticks from some of the branches that, that fell down in the wind. And you can see perfectly, so it doesn't matter if it's green. So really, really enjoyable experience, even if you're able just to plant a couple of acorns in pots and watch them grow over the course of a couple of years and then maybe just have a walk in the countryside one day and find a, a place to dig them in the ground. Um, highly recommend it. It's really um, enriched my life doing it. I've had a great couple of days outside in the spring weather and uh, yeah, think about it. Maybe, maybe you can find a way to plant a tree. Coming? Are you coming to say hello? Are you coming to say hello? Right, so um, I've got great news. I've just found out the name of this little boy. He is called, come here so we can see you. This one is called Tarzan. And the, be the very beautiful girl that I'm in love with is called Taya. She's on the other side of the fence. Um, right, so I've just spoken to the farmer. In two weeks time there's going to be 150 pregnant ewes arriving in the field. Particularly these guys are going to be staying in the field with the ewes until probably beginning of May. At which point they'll be moving on to another field. Which is absolutely perfect for me because I have three very tiny chihuahuas. One of them's really elderly and would not do well mixing with a big puppy like this one. Although he's absolutely beautiful. We do love him. So. They're going to be here for basically the next month. We're going to enjoy seeing all the newborn lambs coming and then they'll be heading off to another field where there's more food for the lambs. I can spend the summer here with my chihuahuas and in September they're going to come back. So 
both dogs coming back and they'll be here September, October, November time as soon as the grass is long enough. So we're going to have another month with Tarzan and Taya and then we're going to have summer to ourselves and then we'll get to see Tarzan again in September, October time uh, and we'll see how much he's grown. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy, very happy about all of that news, it's great. Happy about that? Are you happy about that, Tarzan? Tarzan, what a silly name. What a silly name for a silly dog.